I am here with Olivia O'Brien. Debut album, Was It Even Real? Out now. Woo! Talk about being here, first of all. Sold out, album release week. This is a big week, exciting time. Just put into words what's going through your mind this week. Um, I'm really stressed out and feel horrible. My body hurt, like physically, no, when I'm yeah. stressed out, my body like takes it out of me. I have like really bad sinus problems. Oh, and, no. Like, just get like my everything hurts and. Um, so like physically not too good, right, right. but I know it's like one of those things where like once like leading up to it is scary and like sucks, but then once you get there, it's like good. So I'm just waiting for like the album release day and then I'm going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel it when you're on stage though? Did you feel better? No, on stage, and... on stage is fine. It's another one, one of those things like you get yeah. nervous before and then once you're on stage, it's fine. But then even afterwards, it's like, I'm at the end of my tour right now. So right. I'm just like, I want to go home. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. But. Yeah. yeah, but then I've seen the people lined up already outside. It must be a good mm -hmm. feeling knowing you have these people that are here for you. Yeah. They love love yeah. what you do. I can't, can't wait. You probably already know. You know, every words, all the new songs that yeah. they've heard I think so far. This is one of the. I think this might be the biggest venue I'm playing. Yeah, this is the biggest venue I'm playing on the tour. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah, and I know you've had success over the last couple of years, and get to this point, you've been doing this since you were a little girl. What does it mean to have this album coming out right now? Um. In terms of what you work for. Well. I mean, honestly, like, I'm just so used to everything, like, being pushed back all the time. Like, oh, the album's going to come out in January. No, it's going to come out in February. No, it's going to come out in March. You know, it was like, I, I almost, like, am feeling like it's not, it doesn't even feel real. Like, it doesn't, doesn't feel like it's even going to happen because yeah. I'm just, like, in the, my subconscious is like, oh, no, it's not going to happen. Like, it's going to be pushed back again. And I've also been working towards an album since I started, so for, like, three and a half years probably. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm only using songs that I, I wrote in the past about a little over a year, but still it just it almost feels like it's not even happening because I've been working on it for so long sure. that like I'm just waiting for the day sure 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 and talk about the songs on this and what they say about where you are right now these are personal songs at least for the most part it seems that way to me mm -hmm. you can just put into words what it's like to bring these songs out into the world um you know it's it's always scary but it's I'm kind of used to it at this point because I feel like all of my songs are really personal and I write all of my own songs yeah so um yeah, at this point. And, and when I was in high school and, like, I Hate You, I Love You came out, I already dealt with all that bullying, all the people being, like, like, people found out who the song was about and all that. Like, right. I'm just so used to, like, putting my emotions out there and I've, I've like, blocked everything off. Like, I, I don't even care anymore what people right. think um, when it comes to my music. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just cool because I feel like I've had a lot of these songs for a year, mm -hmm. like, over a year for some of them. And um, I'm just, like, I'm almost impatient like I just I want right. them to be out in the world you know right 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 so it's like to me they're almost old sure, sure. <laughs> but to everyone else they're new because yeah, so. you are always writing you probably yeah, do, yeah. are you writing even on tour oh, are you spending time writing now or is like it... every once in a while yeah. if I come up with an idea like in the band I'll write some little things here and there but um even before tour like I've been working on the next project mm -hmm. and even I'm like have plans for the one after that too so it's yeah, like yeah. yeah I'm already already on the next thing not right. that I don't like really care about this release sure. but I'm just like you know you're always kind of thinking ahead because you want to keep creating yeah well, that's a cool artist way to be yeah and when you see the crowd out there and they're singing along to your songs what does that mean to you knowing that they're taking in your personal song but kind of turning into something of their own what's that vibe like and how much do you appreciate that um I think it's I think the fans singing back is like the one thing that like is the most like it just makes it the most like real it feels mm -hmm. the best like you look out and just see everyone like singing your lyrics it's like it's a feeling you can't even describe um which also on the other hand that's why it's so hard to sing st some of the songs that aren't out yet i'm singing yeah um and so it's so hard when you look out there and nobody knows the words you right. know um so that's probably the hardest part of it but no it's like it's just insane um i can't even describe how it feels to look out and see people singing words that i you know wrote years ago and never thought and, like I never would have thought that this would happen. Right, know? right. What are your hopes and dreams for the rest of the year and what this album can mean? Even though you're always looking forward, working on new things, what excites you about post album release and what the, the success this album can bring you? Um, what honestly, you I, I don't. I like to not think about it too much because like the idea that it's not gonna do as well as I hope it does is yeah. like so scary oh, sure. that I try to not even go there with myself. And I, I don't really. I try to not have like any um, like like numerical goals I guess like yeah. I don't want to be like I wanted to go number one or in the top five or I wanted to go platinum like I don't have any goals like that for myself I don't even have a goal to like win any awards like I'm not like I want to win a Grammy like I just want people that support me to like it yeah. and to not be disappointed by it um and I hope that you know people who hear it like understand the messages I'm trying to get across I I, I don't really have any set goals because I don't want to like put that out there for mm -hmm. myself I just want to 
you know, for me, making music is for me and for the people who relate to it. Sure. So all I really think about is like them and me and like what this means. So. Yeah. And what's the feeling like just just purely singing? Because you're such a beautiful voice, such a beautiful instrument that you've had your whole life. What's it like for you? When you're actually just singing. What's that feeling like for you at this point in your life? And how much do you do you love that talent that you have and, and need to get it out? Like on stage or just on stage or on your own? Just something you like to. Um, how important is that to have that voice? Well, honestly, like. My whole life, I didn't really think of myself as a singer. My sister was a singer, and I was, like... She would, like, walk in my room when I was singing and, like, tell me I was bad and just stop singing. <laughs> um, so I I never... Like, I was kind of something that I kept to myself and secretly did. Um, and then I Hate You, I Love You came out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be a singer now. So I'm kind of honestly, every day, like, reminding myself that I'm a singer and reminding myself that I'm, like, good at it. So, yeah, it's weird, because I feel like most people that are singers, they're, like, their whole life, they've been, like... I love singing, I'm the best, and blah, you know, it's just, that's never, I've been, like, for me, I've always been a songwriter, yeah. so my voice is, like, secondary to that, but then lately, like, especially now that I'm doing tours, and, like, people are complimenting me on my voice, like, I'm becoming more confident in it, and more, like, okay, like, I can do this, yeah. but I find myself, like, singing all the time, just, like, to myself, and then I realize, like, that's probably not normal, that I'm just, like, everywhere I walk, I'm just always, like, singing random songs, right, right, right. so, yeah. and especially in an LA show, which is kind of a hometown show for you, right, mm-hmm. yeah. um, are the people that come out like people that you'd love to work with in the future? Are the people always trying to work with you? You work with some cool, cool people, but is that something you're always looking for new collaborations? Or people say asking you probably to be on their songs a lot as well? Yeah, I I'm kind of weird with collaborations. Um, like my, I mean, I love working with producers and stuff, but like I just if I'm not comfortable with a person because yeah. my writing is so emotional, it's sure. not just like work for me. It's like my feelings. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to be open with a new person and, and be able to create with them. Sometimes I'll have like something uh, like will just hold me back from, from I'll, I'll be like embarrassed maybe it depends on on who it is but I like to have a couple core people that I do most of my writing with um, which is what I did with this album it was um, Teddy Geiger and then this producer and writer duo from um, Stockholm Anton and Tobias yeah. and I made my whole album with just them yeah. um, and my best friend Drew I co-write with so yeah I, I don't know and also my album doesn't have any features it's just all because when I write a song I feel like it's like a complete beginning to end like every part of it is so important that I don't want to take anything out I'll do, like, collaborations with people if, like, I release the song how it is, and then I'll have them do, like, a verse on it later and release a separate version. But as long as the version that's how I originally wrote it, like, exists in the world, mm-hmm. then I'm, like, okay with it. Very so that's, cool. like, my mindset on Very collaborations cool. and stuff. Yeah. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Very good. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the album. Thank you. And the show. Pleasure. Yeah. yeah. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.